So in this problem, we're told a car moving in a straight line starts at x equals 0 and t equals 0. It passes the point x equals 25 meters with a speed of 11.0 meters per second at t equals 3 seconds. And then it passes the point x equals 385 meters with a speed of 45 meters per second at t equals 20 seconds. And then it asks, uh, asks to find uh, the average velocity and the average acceleration between 3 seconds and 20 seconds. So I think the best way to approach these problems is by drawing a diagram. So let's say we have this car here, and uh, it's going in a straight line. And so this is going to be x equals 0, t equals 0. And then so it's traveling along, and then it tells us uh, at x equals 25. So I'm going to draw a line like this. This is going to be 25 meters, right? So the distance between this is 25 meters. And it's traveling at a speed of 11 meters per second. And then this is going to be at t equals 3 seconds. So t equals 3 seconds. And then we're later, or later on, it passes uh, the point 385 meters. So this isn't going to be just uh, to scale, but it's fine. So 385 meters and uh, with a speed of 45 meters per second. And then this is going to be at t equals 20 seconds. And so this is going to be our diagram set up. And let's uh, solve for what they're asking us to find. So we're trying to find average velocity and average acceleration, which is just velocity and acceleration over this interval because they're basically constant. So let's start with velocity, so A. So velocity, we should know that velocity is a change in position, and I'm just going to represent that by delta x over change in time. So change in position, change in time, which basically just means our final position. I'm going to label that as x sub 2 minus our starting position, x sub 1. Uh, over uh, final time, which is just t sub 2 minus our starting time. So when they tell us this is between 3 and 20 seconds, so our final time is 20 seconds, our starting time is 3 seconds. So it's going to be 20 minus 3, and then we need to do the position. So final position is at 20 seconds, right? So what is our position at 20 seconds? It tells us right here uh, it's 385 meters, so 385 minus our position at 3 seconds, right, because that's the beginning of our interval, it's going to be 25 meters. So we have 385 minus 25 uh, over 20 minus 3. So 385 minus 25 is going to be 360. And then 20 minus 3 is going to be 17. So if you go ahead and do this on your calculator, 360 divided by 17 is going to give you, here, I'm going to write it over here, 21 Point one seven six four whatever, and so we're gonna round to uh, just the tenth place. So we're gonna round this to twenty one point two, and then uh, keep in mind that velocity is meters right on top over seconds. So it's gonna be twenty one point two meters per second. So this right here is gonna be your answer to A. So the average velocity is twenty one point two meters per second. So let's do B. So B is gonna be acceleration between this time. So it's gonna be a similar approach. So acceleration, uh, I'm just going to represent it as A, is going to be equal to your change in velocity over change in time. So that's going to be, you got to memorize that. So we got to have our final velocity, V sub 2, minus our initial velocity, V sub 1, over uh, T sub 2, final time, minus our starting time. So our interval is from 3 to 20 seconds, right? So what is our uh, velocity, or instantaneous velocity at this time? Well, 20 seconds, we know we're traveling 45 meters per second. So it's going to be our final velocity, 45, minus our initial, which is at 3 seconds. So the velocity at 3 seconds, which is 11 meters per second. So 45 minus 11. And then it's over uh, final time, which is 20 seconds, minus our starting time, 3 seconds. So 45 minus 11 is going to be 34. 20 minus 3 is going to be 17. And so 34 divided by 17 is going to be equal to 2. And so the units for acceleration is going to be meters per second squared. And you can see that, right? Because velocity is meters per second squared. Or meters per second over time, which is seconds, which is just meters per second squared. So your answer to uh, B is going to be 2 meters per, or 2 meters per second squared. And so these right here are going to be your answers. And that's how you solve this problem.